Hello, my powerful Scorpio friends. So good to be with you. And I've got a gorgeous forecast for you. So we're going to get to that in one second. First, I've got to answer this question that I keep getting from you guys. Um, and I, I want to let you know I haven't forgotten. <clears throat> the, the question is, when are you, when are you going to teach astrology again, Max? Well, I'm going to teach it in January. Let me tell you what I've got set up here. I'm teaching two different places. If you live in Atlanta or near Atlanta and would like to take classes from me, beginning, intermediate, and advanced, um, if you'd like it in person, in a group, which I think is just the best way to do it. I'm going to be um, teaching um, starting Saturday, January 20th at 11 o'clock in the morning, Eastern time. Um, if you're in Atlanta, you know about Phoenix and the Dragon. All you do is go to my website, MaxineTaylor.com. Give me a, send me an email from the site I'll, I, and I'll get in touch with you. I'll tell you how to sign up for the classes. I want to make sure that you're in the right one um, because some of you know more astrology than you think you do. Then those of you who live outside of Atlanta, like in a different country, um, I'm going to be teaching a virtual class, a surprise, um, on Zoom, and we're going to start Thursday, January 18th at 7 o'clock Eastern Time. Um, and of course, I'm going to video both of these classes so that if you're not here in person, excuse me, I have a cat. You have a cat or a dog or you cover with fur? I am. Um, <clears throat> um, we're going to have these two classes going. And so... You could, I'm making it available to you. I hope it's convenient for you. Okay, now let's talk about this amazing forecast. First of all, Jupiter has gone direct. Yes, and it's in your seventh house of partnership and the public. And Jupiter is the greater benefic. It blesses whatever area, whatever house it's in. And that's the area of partnership. Don't you just love it? Um, and so you'll be with people who are happy and optimistic, and you will be happy and optimistic in their presence. That's all you got to know. It's wonderful. Now, look at all this stuff down here. Mars, the red planet, is what we fight with and fight for. It's what is number one with us. It has been in your second house of money. And so you should have been able to create a certain abundance. Uh, well, it's it's a, a get it and spend it and get it and spend it. But Mars in the second helps you create money. On the fourth, it's going to move into your third house and you're going to start thinking and talking and with a bang. OK, you're going to be speaking very forthrightly. And the third house is siblings, so they may be the people you're talking to. They don't have to be. Mercury, the blue planet, <laughs> is what we think about and talk about. It's been in the second house of money. Whatever you think about and talk about, you create. I mean, don't you love it? On the 13th. Now, it's going to stay in the shadow of the retrograde till the 21st. It's going to go direct um, between the first and the second, between tomorrow and the next day. So um, as it moves forward, you'll be more lucid. <laughs> and um, just keep in mind, it'll be in the shadow, which means it's going to feel exactly like it did when it was retrograde. Tie up the loose ends that you started when it was retrograde. Okay. And on the 23rd, Venus, the pink planet, which normally rules that second house and has, I'm sure, brought you uh, money and gifts, 
On the 23rd, it's going to move into your third house. And so you're going to speak lovingly. Now we say, wait a minute, I'm speaking passionately and lovingly and talking a lot. Yeah. Or writing a lot. Uh -huh. That would be you. Terrific. In addition, the sun, the yellow planet is the center of our life. It's the giver of life. It's in your third house. This is a great time to make amends if you need to, but certainly to talk to other people. On the 20th, it moves into your fourth house of home, family, or real estate, and or real estate. And so the center of your life becomes hearth and home. Whether you're buying a house, selling a house, or just staying home. Now, we have a new moon on the 11th, and everything picks up on the 11th, two days before the 11th, which would be the 9th. There's no energy. On the 9th, the energy starts to grow. So the promise of the third house really doesn't start until the 11th. And that's cool. It's in 20 Capricorn. Find that in your birth chart and combine it with the solar chart. Two weeks later, we got a full moon and that's when things come to a head. It's on the 25th in five Leo. It's in your 10th house of career, your 10th house of leadership. And so my suggestion is prepare yourself to move upward in your career. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Oh, it's beautiful. So happy of new happiest of new years. And join me next month when once again we take a look at your forecast. Until then, may the stars shine brightly on you and yours. Bye for now. <laughs>